What's up, guys? Welcome to episode two of Treasure Trove Chill. So yeah, I was I was playing some Shovel Knight. Was done with homework. I was playing one of the final levels in a different version of the story, and uh, you raged a little bit because I get tilted very easily. So yeah, I, I just felt like doing some Treasure Trove Chill after that. Uh, last time I did realize I didn't talk about the game that much and I was hanging out with some friends one of them mentioned that I wasn't really talking about the game that much so I guess I can do a recap of what happened last episode episode in terms of the story so um last episode we learned about Shovel Knight and Shield Knight Shield Knight was Shovel Knight's partner possibly girlfriend, I'm not sure. But they went to the Tower of Fate and Shield Knight died, supposedly. But Shovel Knight thinks that she's still alive, so he's going to get her. And then the boss in that level was uh, Black Knight, who I'm not gonna spoil too much about him, but he doesn't like Shovel Knight. And now Shovel Knight is going on to defeat the knights that are under the Enchantress's Order of No Quarter, which is the Enchantress is the ruler of the Tower of Fate and pretty much the whole world, the whole Shovel Knight world. So he's just trying to go through all of these guys to get Shield Knight. And as you can see, right by the clouds, there are two locks and you have to defeat the Knights on this level to unlock the locks to continue on to the next world. So that will probably be our goal in the next two episodes. But before we can go to either of the worlds, we are go we have to go to the village and check it out. So let's go ahead and do that. A well, little bit glitchy there. Hello? Oh, my computer. <laughs> What's going on? Hello? There we go. Halt! No weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, that's no weapon. It's just a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press W to talk to everyone. Yeah, so you can go to villages and interact with people, which is pretty cool. This guy here, we can give him music sheets for gold. Sorry, I'm not, ta I'm not talking about any of this audio, but... After we get gold, we can get a meal ticket. And with a meal ticket, we can go up to this guy. And he will cook us a beautiful meal that we can then eat. Which will be very nice for us. So I think today I'm going to try and take out King Knight. Because she's a little bit easier than... Spectre Knight, and I'm not really up for a challenge right now. Then we can also go down here. And we can buy... Let's buy a fishing rod. I'm pretty sure we can get both. And a chaos sphere. So these are magic items that we can use. Uh, what button is it to use them? Hmm. Now I need to remember what button is to use. Pretty sure it was L. Buy a truffle chalice. Oh no, we don't have enough gold. What button is it? H N M B. Never mind. So yeah, now we I've hopefully got the relaxing music going in the background. I think I figured that out. Which hopefully will be fun for you guys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go take out Shield uh not Shield Knight, King Knight. And that level is also pretty chill, so I can just talk about other stuff again. First, let's get this loot. And this thing. And we can head on 
So now we are free to move all over the place. Let's jump right into Shield Knight, uh, King Knight's castle. So yeah, I was, um, I was doing homework. And we were doing this project for English. We're reading Romeo and Juliet right now. And we have to draw a picture for, uh, about, like, what the imagery of a poem looks like. And one of my friends asked the teacher, what does, uh, what does art have to do with English? And then the funny thing was they didn't really give a proper reply. Like, they just kept rambling on about something. And it's weird. Because, like, it's true. It kind of doesn't really have anything to do with English. Sorry, right now I'm just trying to figure out what button is to use. Magic items. Hang on, let me look at it. Uh, never mind, I guess. I don't know what button is. So yeah, and that and I just thought of that for some reason. I thought it was something interesting to talk about. Cause like, I don't know. This week is teacher appreciation week. I'm pretty sure. And I feel like teachers don't get enough credit. Like a bunch of kids always give them a ton of crap for being excessive or something like that. Well, including me, like I also do it. So I'm not trying to scold those people, but I'm just saying, like, they don't necessarily always deserve the rude talking to behind the back. But, I mean, it's a weird topic. I don't know why I brought it up. I just felt like talking about it, but um, I just think that teachers should be more respected, even though if they are a little all over the place, like my English teacher. Like, she still definitely works hard. Yeah, but yesterday was May the 4th. There were a bunch of, and to change the topic, yesterday was May 4th and there were a bunch of cool new Lego sets. I was considering getting one, but I just recently watched The Bad Batch. Spoilers, by the way, coming up. And, uh, I thought it was very cool, so I've decided to wait for, wait for the new Bad Batch Lego set that got leached, which is the shuttle, or a different one, because they're there might be a cooler one than the, uh, than the shuttle. It was kind of a shame that Crosshair's, uh, convergence to the Empire was spoiled from the set, but I think they did it a cool way in the show, where he had a malfunctioning chip, but then, uh, he still was on their side until Tarkin made, like, increase the force of the chip. I just thought that was an interesting way to do it. Uh, I mean, it's cool that they have a female clone, apparently. Omega is apparently a female clone. According to... Oops, according to, um, I didn't die at all last time. I'm dying a lot more in this episode. According to, uh, Tech, she's a female clone, which is pretty cool. I've never done that before, and I'm curious to find out how they did do that. 
Echo is obviously my favorite from the Bad Batch. He was my favorite even before he became a member of the Bad Batch. I just really like the, the like series about the rookies were like fives heavy uh whatever his name is whatever his name is and echo uh so that's where i like that's where i got my love for the character and then when i heard he was coming back in season uh in season seven season eight season seven uh, which one i don't know which one but i was very happy and now he is back and now he's part of a new show and i just find it significant this might seem like a super nerdy thing to say but it's pretty cool that out of all the clones they decided to bring him back Uh, this episode, I don't really have as much to talk about than last episode, but I'm still trying my hardest. Uh, I did... Whoa, I never noticed that secret there. Is that a ladder? I think it is. What's down here? Oh, it's back down here. Never mind. Um, what's another top thing I could talk about? Um, I don't know. This is a weird, awkward silence. Um, I guess I could talk about the fact. No, I'm probably shouldn't talk about that. Um, I have nothing to talk about. This is weird. Uh, well, my cousin likes it when I talk about mind-numbing people. Oh, now I just- that just made me think of something I should talk about. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you guys enjoy these videos that much. I definitely do. Um, and like, I have my Minecraft video that I'm editing, but it's taking really long, to be honest. It's taking very long. Uh, spoiler for the Minecraft video, it took me like six hours to find diamonds. And my goal for the end of the video was to build another portal. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, this series is kind of just to, to talk about things with the fans. Not really with the fans, just talking to myself, to the camera. I don't know if I have any fans that are my friends. If I do, you should comment so my friends know that I have fans. Uh, but yeah, these videos are just really fun for me because they allow me to just talk about what's on my mind. Ah, uh, yikes, that was a bad death. I did get the music key though. Um, so, when I was talking about teacher appreciation, that was on my mind. I mean, teachers are, teachers definitely don't get enough credit. Even if sometimes they can be a little annoying, that's just because probably they give you a task that you're not really comfortable or up to. That might not be it, that might just be because they're not a good teacher, but even though they aren't a good teacher, they're still probably trying hard. Oh no. Um. So, uh, the project was with Queen Mab's speech that Mercutio says in Romeo and Juliet. And I drew a really violent thing where it's like, uh, H-E double hockey sticks. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on YouTube, but I never know what will happen. But, uh, um, I drew H-E double hockey sticks with, like, a hole going through it. And then there was a bed flying through the hole because it's, like, all about the dreams, the speech. And then on the bottom, I had, like, a sort of heavy place. And it was actually a fun project. It was a really relaxing break for, uh, 
like writing essays and stuff for that class because it's a hard class. I think we're approaching the boss fight. So yeah, I made a, I'm gonna read this for a second. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, you knave. I'm not, I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real knight. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence. Yeah, so I'm happy with my drawing. I'm excited to present in class tomorrow. This boss fight is a little boring. Uh, I do want to grow my channel. And I just think that this would be a fun series. See what happens with it. I mean, of course, I'm also doing more popular stuff. This game hasn't really had much attention on the YouTube. But I mean, Minecraft has. But also, Minecraft is just a lot more work. And a lot more stressful. So... I think I'm just going to continue on with this series, even if it doesn't get that much attention. Uh, just kidding. Drop, if I get 50,000 likes, I'll make another video. And then, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care how many likes I get. I just like publishing these videos. It's a fun little thing. And, uh, yeah, this video is over i guess this one was a little bit slower than usual i just kind of felt like venting my thoughts but uh thank you guys for watching hope you guys did uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed i mean this one was definitely a little bit slower but i did hope you guys enjoy uh and i'll see you all in the next episode maybe the minecraft episode Minecraft episode coming soon, probably this weekend. So yeah. Bye!